Oh, hi, Diddly Ho Neighborinos. Welcome back to Kerplunk Media, uh, your home of uh, valuable Blu-ray information and factoids and uh, all that kind of shit. So check this out. Today, we're going to be talking about slip covers. Um, now, speaking of slip, I realized I just slipped up. See, I'm trying to uh, get a little monetized maybe in the future, so I'm trying not to curse in the first 60 seconds of my videos. I heard there's something to that, but I already fucked that up, so fuck it. Check this out. We're doing uh, slip covers, and I'm going to talk about why logistically you should never throw away your slip covers, even if you don't like them. If you don't give two shits about slip covers, it's a very important video. I'm going to show you how to make money, my guy. Uh, we all love money, right? Kind of makes the world go around. Um, so check this out. First thing I'm going to say to you is if you love slip covers, uh, I'm right there with you. They're my favorite thing. Well, one of my favorite things about Blu-ray collecting. I love a movie with a nice slip cover. As you can see, look, you know, I'll just give you a little example. Look at this. Yeah, that looks cool. Random movie here. That looks nice. But look at what a slip cover. Oh my God. With a slip, everything just looks, you slide it out. It just looks so much more professional. Oh my God. Sometimes they have reversible cover art. That shit. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, that's speaking my language. So, um, personally, I love slip covers. Um, I don't, un I'm, you know, sometimes I try to be nice and be like, well, I understand if you don't, I genuinely don't get it if you don't like slip covers. Cause I'm just like, these are sick. They're really nice. <laughs> they make your, uh, collection work look so much more professional. Um, but we're not all professionals like me. Uh, so, um, I love them and uh, I go out of my way to collect them. Sometimes uh, if I see, here's a little uh, pro tip. So check this out and don't tell anybody I did this. Me, I've never done this, okay? Everything I'm gonna tell you, I've never done. So if you're a cop or an officer or anybody who enforces law, um, I'm not condoning doing this and I've never ever done this before. But sometimes movies will release, or movies, <laughs> studios will release a movie and uh, you know, it doesn't have a slip cover. Now, what's a girl to do? What do in this situation, how do I handle this nicely, right? So they release It, right? I put a, uh, a red case on It because it's a clown movie. Um, but, you know, they release It, and it doesn't have a slipcover. That's okay. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Well, next Halloween, or maybe the Halloween after, all of a sudden, they're releasing limited edition slips, exclusives. But I've already bought the movie. What's a girl to do? <laughs> I'll tell you what... Tentatively, maybe I or did or did not do. I I bought it again with the slip cover, but uh, here's a, here's where they they messed up. See, this is their fault that I'm an asshole. They put a little you know hole here where the barcode goes, so I can just as easily buy this, take the slip off, and then return it to you know Walmart, Target, wherever your place of business is and keep the slip for myself for free. I get the exchange. I've never done that. I swear to God, I've never done that. But if I was, that would be very smart of me, right? <laughs> and I definitely haven't done that with a few slip covers. <laughs> um, but you don't always gotta do that. Like if sometimes, you know, you're just chilling uh, waiting for a movie to come out, it comes out, doesn't have a slip cover. Sometimes if you wait, especially if it's like a popular movie or a cult classic, um, they'll get, they'll re-release it with like a limited edition slip. Like sometimes, check this out. So, um, John Wick, where's John Wick at in my obnoxiously large movie collection? John Wick Chapter 2, right? Came out with a slip, uh, and then for a little while it was slipless, and then they had this whole like you know, feature thing at Walmart with all these slips that look like this, you know, they, they release them like in a series of, of sort of action hero series and they have their own limited edition stuff like this. This came out, Terminator 2 came out, that kind of thing. Well, I didn't have John Wick 2 anyway, and this was a re-release for seven bucks and I like that slip cover anyway, so I just bought this with the slip. So you don't always have to screw over the studios. And to be honest with you, in the time where physical media is dying, it's not necessarily good to screw over the studio. So I have not done that, that I just explained where I, I didn't steal a slip, but I probably wouldn't do that anymore if I did do it. Um, just cause you know, studios kind of need the money. We need to support physical media. If, if you want it to continue, you got to vote with your wallet, so to speak. Um, so on the subject of limited edition slip covers, um, let's say you're at Walmart and they have the Adams family, but it's got a limited edition slip. And you love this shit and you buy it or you buy it, but you don't care about the slip cover, right? Now we're going to talk about if you do not care about slip covers, save the slip, right? Because this slip cover for the Adams family itself, right? I bought this movie for, um, uh, seven bucks, I think with the slip, all that kind of stuff. But online on eBay, 
they're selling just the slip cover for 15 bucks. So you could have, if you didn't just like, you know, chuck the slip or not care about the slip and stuff like that, you could have basically bought this movie and sold the slip online and, and collectors. Um, I don't really buy just slip covers online, um, but I have bought movies that have slips just because I like the slip. So it's definitely a collector's market. If you do not like the slip cover, you can just resell it online for a profit. Now, you want to talk real profits, check this shit out. Everything I'm going to tell you, I will never sell a slipcover, okay? It's my favorite thing. I just explained it. This video is getting kind of redundant. I'm, I understand. You know, I'm open to criticism. Um, you know, I understand. I, I've said things a lot, but check this out. Maximum Overdrive. Without the slip, this Blu-ray goes for 15 bucks. With this slipcover, because it was so limited, and it's not getting a repressing anytime soon of this slipcover, because this movie's kind of a cult classic, but most people just say, yeah, that movie sucked, and Stephen King was on too much cocaine when he wrote it. They're not wrong. I just happen to love this movie. It's one of my all-time favorites. Um, but with the slipcover, this goes for like 70 bucks on eBay. That's the difference of like 50 bucks just for this freaking cardboard. Now, Arrow Video, even crazier, because they release slip boxes, right? And you have to buy... If you want to get that slip box, sorry, I'm having trouble navigating my own movie collection. Um, let's say you want Tremors, but you don't have the money right up front, right? Well, that sucks because, you know, you missed out on this limited edition slip box. And that is, that's how they get you. And that sucks because, you know, if Arrow releases something, it's limited for the first month or so. That it's going to have that slip box. And then after that, when they repress it and everything like that, you're going to get it for a little bit of a discount, but it no longer will have the slip box. That sucks. This goes for, I think, upwards of like 150 at one point I saw it online just because it has the slip box. You can still buy this movie in the Arrow release just as easily. It just doesn't have the slip box. Talk about some slip box I missed out on that I regret every day i didn't have the money at the time to get the true romance with the slip box um because it was an import and at the time it was like 50 bucks plus 20 bucks just to import it so i have true romance on 4k the uk edition i wanted this i bought it because i wanted it because the original blu-ray video quality was awful and i wanted this 4k but i didn't get the slip box i've missed out on it because now that edition with the slip box it goes for like two three hundred i've seen on ebay and i'm not gonna pay that if i couldn't afford to pay it you know, at $50 in the first place. So, um, this is what I'm saying to you is if you are not a person who, uh, you know, likes the slips and stuff like that, don't just throw them away, but also don't be an asshole about it. This is kind of a PSA. Don't just go buying a movie just so you can resell it at an uptick online. That's scalping. Um, I get why people do it. You know, everybody got to make their money. Like I said, it makes the world go around, but you're, you're taking away from people who genuinely want that. You know, it's the same as those assholes, who like on Black Friday, they'll go buy a TV and then, you know, sell it for like two, three hundred dollars more. Um, and people have to buy it at that price because they can, they, you know, they can't afford to wait and all that kind of stuff. So just, you know, that sucks. Don't do that. Um, but what I'm saying to you is if you have like a limited edition and, you know, you want to sell just the box or whatever like that, you don't have to just throw it away. Because I know like my parents, it drives me crazy. Uh, in the rare event that they buy physical media, there's been a couple times when my mom has thrown away the slipcover that... Oh my God, it could go to me. You don't even have to charge for it. You could give it to somebody that you love. <laughs> um, but anyways, I don't know if this was an interesting video. I uh, love talking about slip covers, slip cases, uh, different editions of Blu-rays and things like that. I think it's, that's uh, really where my niche is within like the Blu-ray collecting community. Because like I like to have physical versions of all my favorite movies, yes. Um, but it's just as much like an art collection to me as it is about like owning your own media. And like, I have all these movies because I love all these movies. But there's also this whole thing where like, I also have all these movies because I really appreciate some of the artwork that they have, like cover art and things like that. And just the packaging is art to me. Like, for example, you know, to get away from um, slipcovers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, where is it? I just saw it. Interstellar. Um, I actually uh, bought the slipcover edition with the 4K, but I had the old Diamond Lux edition. And, like, you know, there's nothing, you know, too spectacular in terms of extra bonus features or anything like that. No. But the Diamond Lux just, like, as a piece of art. That is so cool. I love the way the packaging looks, you know. And I kind of made my own special edition of this because this was just the Diamond Lux uh, Blu-ray edition when it came out. And then I bought the 4K. I bought it because <laughs> I'm supporting physical media. I didn't do any shady stuff like with it. But I didn't do that either. Um, 
But, uh, you know, and then I just kind of switched out to put it in the Diamond Luxe Edition that fits really nice into the slip. Um, but, you know, that's what I'm saying. This is this is art for me, too. Like, just as much as I love owning this, to be able to look at that as the cover art, that's the same as people who buy and frame the pieces of art that they love, because I, I love movies. So uh, that's kind of what this video is about. Hopefully this is an interesting topic, interesting to me. Um, have a good night. Drive safe. Uh, and party on Wayne.